Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Exploratory. My name is Janet Henderson, but you already knew that. He he he. Today, our logo mascot, the Silver Geek logo, has made his way to a rather fascinating looking planet located in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune. Let's see how he's doing right now. Hey, Geek. This is Janet, calling from Elkins and Boxing in my Amos. Can you hear me? Daryl Ian Campbell, a.k.a. The Silver Deke logo here. I can hear you loud and clear, Janet. Wow! That certainly is a fascinating looking object out there in space. Is that a comet or something? No, it is not a comet. In fact, it is a very small planet, called, Homea. A trans-Neptunian planet. And one of five dwarf planets, located in our solar system. Can you tell us how far Homea is from us? Yes. Believe it or not, this planet I'm floating over, is actually, 4,607,470,167 miles away from Earth. That also makes it 4.01 billion miles away from the Sun. So as you can imagine, this is a very cold place. Gee, for a planet, it has a rather unusual shape. Can you tell us why it is shaped the way it is? It is oddly shaped, isn't it? Well, believe it or not, it is actually shaped, just like a bean. Or a small grain of rice. Its unique shape is caused, by the planet's rapid rotation. Its gravitational force, from that rapid rotation, is what caused its unique shape and form. In fact, Homea is spinning so fast, that an entire day on the planet, lasts about, four hours. So I guess, if I was standing on Homea while it was spinning so fast, it would ricochet me right off, wouldn't it? You got that right, Janet. That's because, the gravity on Homea surface, is only, 0 0.44 meters, per square inch. 20 times lower, than the gravity on Earth. So if you weigh, 154 pounds, on planet Earth, you would only weigh, 6 pounds, on Homea. The rocky icy planetoid, has no atmosphere, and no oxygen. So, you would need a spacesuit, in order to breathe. And just how big, is this rocky planetoid? Believe it or not. It is small enough, to fit inside the country of Australia. Only, 1,180 miles across. While the diameter of Australia, is 2,485 miles across. Amazing! You can actually fit the small rocky planet inside a whole country. And the fact that this planet, has an unusual shape, and you can fit it, inside a whole country, are pretty weird. In fact, it gets even weirder. That's because, this planet has a ring around it, made from dust and rocks, just like Saturn. Well, you know what they say. If you like it, you better put a ring on it. Hee hee hee. So, are there any moons that circulate the planet? Yes. In fact, Homea has two, very small moons. They are both named, Namaka, and Hyaka. The moons are so small, that they have a very disoriented shape. That's because, these were either asteroids, captured by Homea's gravity, or there likely, wasn't enough material, to give them a spherical shape. So I'm guessing Homea was first formed 4.5 billion years ago, when the solar system was first formed. Actually, not much is known, about this mysteriously shaped planet. That's because, it was actually discovered, 
back in 2005, by a guy named Mike Brown, who worked for Caltech at the time. It was named Homea, by the International Astronomers Union, in 2008. The name is derived from the Hawaiian goddess of fertility, also named, Homea. How long does it take this strange planet to orbit around the sun? It is so far out beyond the sun, that a whole year on Homea, lasts about, 286 years. And what is this strange planet made from? Pretty much the same stuff, our moon is made from. Dust and rocks. And in what part of the solar system is Homea located? It is actually, one of the smaller dwarf planets. It's a trans-Neptunian object, and can be found, between Pluto, and Maki Maki. I see. Well, thank you Deke, for giving us some interesting facts about this strange planet, Homea. I certainly enjoyed that. You are very welcome, Janet. By the way, without the super speed I have, since I'm a scary logo, it would take a normal person, about 14 years, to reach this place. Well, I guess I'd better start making, my way back to Earth. Dang, I hope he doesn't burn up in the atmosphere. And so, this concludes our first episode of Exploratory. Hopefully, you found this video to be rather interesting. Until next time, this is Janet Henderson saying, TTFM. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>